continuous and non-invasive monitoring of blood gases. Transcutaneous monitoring provides critical data about a patient's ventilation and oxygenation status when frequent invasive blood sampling is not adequate. When you breathe, oxygen is transported from the air into your blood vessels via the lungs and carbon dioxide is released. The heart pumps the oxygenated blood into the body's circulatory system where it provides oxygen for all vital processes in the body. The cardiovascular system transports the carbon dioxide that is produced during cell metabolism back to the lung, where it is exhaled. Inside the skin's capillaries, the blood flows just a tenth of a millimeter below the skin's surface. The transcutaneous sensor is placed on the skin, where it elevates the temperature in the underlying tissue slightly above body temperature. The body reacts by letting the skin breathe, allowing for gas diffusion through the skin. The sensor registers the quantity of oxygen and carbon dioxide present in the blood. If the levels of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the body are out of balance, this could indicate that one or more of the body's vital functions are altered and that the patient's condition could worsen rapidly. Continuous monitoring allows for a fast response to changes in patient status and for timely intervention to ensure the best possible patient care. Let's look at the clinical settings where transcutaneous monitoring makes a real difference. Abnormal oxygen and carbon dioxide levels in preterm neonates can lead to severe cerebral damage and eye and lung complications. Transcutaneous monitoring allows for immediate detection of changes in oxygen and carbon dioxide to ensure a better outcome. For patients under non-invasive ventilation, it is vital to have real-time data on ventilation and oxygenation status in order to allow proactive ventilator manipulations and tailored therapies. In sleep labs, transcutaneous monitoring supports the diagnosis of sleep-related hypoventilation syndromes and helps create an undisturbed sleep environment for patients. In the ICU, where every minute counts, continuous monitoring offers a reliable approach to accurately titrate ventilator settings for patients with acute respiratory failure. During anesthesia, transcutaneous monitoring continuously keeps track of carbon dioxide levels to avoid complications in sedated patients. For patients with severe wounds, transcutaneous monitoring is used to assess healing probability, adequate amputation level, and treatment effectiveness. Transcutaneous monitoring provides continuous and non-invasive monitoring of blood gases and offers proactive rather than reactive intervention to critical changes.